I just got out to the beach, checked it out, and I'm walking down to a nice little rip current. You can see all this whitewash getting sucked out right here, and there's actually another one further down. And I guarantee it, there's a cut in this bar. I, I can't really see it from here. Let me get down there closer to it, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I guarantee it, you'll be able to see the water getting pulled out right there. Walked up to that rip current, and as you can see, all this water over here is just getting sucked out pretty fast. And same with the other side. But that current out there, the fish can sense it and they know that all of this can pull bait out. And so they'll hang out in these areas, staging on either side of it, maybe even in it, looking for bait. But we got a couple pelicans hanging out. Saw a loon over here a minute ago. So hopefully that's a sign that there's some bait around. I'll get my rod set up, get them out there. Let's see what we can make happen today. Oh man, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that didn't take long. Oh no, it's a it's a pelican. Dang, that's not what we want. Oh, I got so excited seeing that rod boat over like that. Oh, I thought it was a big drum smacking it. Oh well, at least the pelican got out. Go ahead and reel this in, do a bait check. Oh, I got so excited, man. What a letdown. Go ahead and move a couple of these rods around since nothing's happened. Dang, are you kidding me? Another pelican? What's going on, dude? Like what, I've never, I rarely catch pelicans. That's the second time. Got super excited. All right, dude, come on, get out of it. I might have to pull this one in. Oh, there he got out, he got out. Usually the pelicans have no problem seeing my line. But today, for whatever reason, I wonder if it's the same one, dude. You like to drink too much salt water or something? Oh yeah, look at that water. That is moving, man. Suck it out there. If this was the springtime, like this spot would be a guaranteed I'd be getting some pompano. Like there's no doubt about it. I mean, come April, you find a spot like this, there are going to be pompano munching right there. I am so ready for the pompano run. I'm ready to just come out here and get those like 30 minute limits. And in my experience, February is the worst month to go surf fishing of the year. I personally have just had a lot of skunk days surf fishing in February. It's like no activity out here. Just walked about, I don't know, 100 yards down the beach. My gear is way down there. Hopefully there's not a fish on it, but I found a spot I think I'm gonna move to. But I'm just liking how all of the wave action's happening right here. There's just a lot of things happening, stirring up all of the bait that could be hanging out on the sandbar and also over on this sandbar and all that water is getting sucked out right here. It's hard to see, I mean, you just follow the wash and you just walk it down. This is like as easy as I can explain it. As it, When that wash stops moving and you can see it just start moving out, that's where your current's at. So it's probably going right through here. All right, let me go grab my gear. It looks like someone's over there. Maybe I got a fish on, he's looking at my pole. Go over there and see what's going on with that. Pack up, move down over here, and hopefully this move pays off. Went scouting way down the beach, and uh, the trod looks a little slack. Oh yeah, there's, a fish. there's probably a fish on there. Yep. Oh yeah, here we go. All right. I probably walked like 200 yards down the beach, so I did not see the hit. I have to go through the footage. No fight on this fish, whatever it is. It could be grass, like it, it's just weight. Oh, there he goes. There he goes, he's starting up. Finally realized he was hooked. My camera died on my chest. I'm talking to the other one.
Yeah, I got I got 20 bucks says that fish had no idea he was hooked. And uh finally felt a little pressure and he's just like, what's going on? Gotta <laughs> wake him up. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. And this this was way out there. I casted this over a hundred yards easy. So maybe maybe they've been far all day. I've only been putting one way out there. Good head shakes on them. Good solid head shakes. Nice. Well, I guess walking over here was worth it. I mean, finally some action, you know? I was actually walking back over to where I was at because I keep looking. That rip current is really going good down there. But now that I'm catching fish over here, I'm gonna hang out a minute. Oh no, no, he got off. Oh man. Right in the bar, he, it wasn't, oh. Dang, man. Eat one of my other baits. It's just been a disappointing day, man. Two pelicans and then lost something. I saw it, it was big and black. I'm gonna tell myself it was a stingray. It's kind of what it looked like. But it wasn't fighting like a stingray, so it makes me think it was a drum. Dang, man, well, I'll throw this back out there and hope for the best. I mean, it's way out there. 100 yards, easy. The main reason I put this video out is because I really wanted to show the structure I was fishing. That first rip current I fished is like a perfect example of what a rip current looks like. And if you can visualize that underwater, you'll be able to find them when all of the sand is covered. Because if there's a trough and there's a cut in the bar, good chances are there's a rip current there. So just try to visualize that underwater and it'll really help you find them. And that second spot I moved to, you can see where the, the rip current was. It wasn't a very strong one, keep in mind, but there was current there. And just kind of follow that whitewash and see where it's coming out at coming out at that'll help you visualize those currents and you can just start picking up on it real well so that's the biggest reason i put this video out because it definitely wasn't about the fishing the fishing didn't happen two pelican hits and lost a big ugly like come on man but hey it's fishing that's how it goes sometimes you just got to keep grinding it out and if you've been out there fishing and having skunk days don't feel bad february is just terrible it really is the worst month of the year for surf fishing in my opinion in the area don't get discouraged. Keep going out there. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. Don't look at it as a defeat if you don't catch a fish. That's the biggest thing. You just think of it as I spent some good quality time out on the water. Hope you all enjoyed this video. And until next time, take care and tie lines.